Peter Schrager from the NFL Network's Good Morning Football feels that teams that passed on Jeremiah owusu koromoa they're going to regret it for a long time. Here are all the defensive ends and linebackers that were selected above him. Go through those names, and I say, why does it matter that all these players are here? Because I know we have the Brady Six, and DK Metcalf had nine receivers taken before him. I think someday we're going to look back at JOK in Cleveland and say, how did you take X over this guy as he's one of the most dominant linebackers in the sport? He's compared to Devin White. He is a burner. He is a smaller linebacker, which means he can cover tight ends. And that is really what his primary thing is going to be. Coverage in the passing game. I think this guy is an absolute star. It was a surprise to many that he fell to the top 20. It was a shock to most that he fell to the top 40. The Browns got themselves a first round talent at number 52. Hmm. And I think someday we're gonna look at the JOK 10, the people that were taken above him and say, I cannot believe those guys were selected before him. And there might be a documentary someday. Down. Let's bring back in Mary Kay Cabot, Browns beat reporter. And uh, Mary Kay, what do you make of that? Well, you know, I've talked to a lot of people also about JOK, especially after Adam Schefter put out the report that he may have fallen because of a red flag with a heart issue uh, heading into the NFL draft. But I actually, uh, one of the scouts that I talked to was leafing through um, medical reports on JOK and found nothing in there about a heart issue. I, you know, sometimes there's gamesmanship that happens uh, during the first couple rounds of the draft or all through the draft, really. And uh, you never really know where those things come from. But, you know, sometimes teams engage in things like that where, not the Browns, but I mean, there might might have been a team that wanted him to fall and put something out there. So uh, it, it's really hard to say, but I do think from every one that I've talked to, this is a tremendous talent. And a lot of people were reluctant maybe to draft him in the first round because uh, some people think he's more of a safety. He does have safety size, but he's so incredibly talented. The Browns are so excited to get him. They view him as a first round talent. I think he will be on the field as a starter from day one. I know they want to keep expectations low, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think he's going to be a starter from day one, and I think he will he will be on the field pretty much all the time. 